everybody and welcome back to the breathing space so today i'm actually by myself because jermaine had to go back to work um so i'm gonna try to do like a little vlog today my sister has something planned for us to do today so i'm not really sure what's on the schedule today but we will find out Tell me where I'm going. What the hell? Now I see something's not adding up. <laughs> <laughs> My cousin, you don't see her. She's outside. I haven't seen her in forever, and now she pulled up in front of the house. Hey. So so far, um, I'm sitting in Christy's car, and I'm trying to figure out what the hell's going on. What the plan is today. And then, did you? Jermaine literally no. almost murked that. Well, yeah, Jermaine <laughs> just came home, but he just drove away and went somewhere. But um, so yeah, we're waiting in the car, and my cousin that I haven't seen in forever pulled up to the house, and now she's about to come with us. So the surprise continues. <sighs> Christy, you have anything to say about what plans they are today? No. Just that it's gonna be outside and it's cold outside right now. Just how we're bundled up. All right, so my cousin's in the car hey. and I'm trying to figure out where we going, Becky. <laughs> where we headed to, Beck? I don't know. Oh, I, don't know. I can't. <laughs> I'm having anxiety. <laughs> but anyway, here we go. We're on our yeah. way to Thanks, wherever. Man. So we made it to where? We are at Fox Hollow Vineyard. <laughs> Look at my <laughs> Awesome. So we're going to discover what today, guys? Wine tasting. Oh my God. I've been waiting forever. <laughs> so let's just follow us in our journey. In Fox <laughs> Hollow Vineyard. <laughs> Hi, <Lady. laughs> She's so high. <laughs> They come pick it up and they bring your wine to you. I'm more of a sweet type of girl. I do like dry, but I kind of like the mixture of dry and sweet, but not too dry. So we got our wine. So we're gonna check it out, see what it's about. So my first wine is a 2020 Derby White, and it's sweet. And it says it has some peach, pear, and honeysuckle. And it has 10%, 10.75% of alcohol. So, and my second one is another sweet white wine. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. 
that's what it's called. Tremon, Tremony. And the third one I have is a pink flamingo. That's a rose. And it has a bunch of fruit in it, like melon, orange, strawberry. And my last that I'm going to try is a hilltopper red. And the hilltopper red is fruity and it's like a sangria. So what do you have over there? So my first one is the same one as you. It's the 2020 Derby White. Mm -hmm. And then the second one is the 2020 Deco Rosé. It's a light ruby in color with hints of apple, cranberry, and pineapple. I like the pineapple part, so that's why I chose this one. And then my last two are some dry red wines. So this one is a 2016 Petite Verdot. Um, it has black raspberry, molasses, oak, and plum. What stuck out to me was the molasses and the oak part. Mm -hmm. And then this one is a 2019 Cabernet Franc. And it has cherry, blackberry, cardamom with a hint of cedar. Nice. All right, Becky, okay. give us the lineup. So my first one is a 2020 Derby White. Mm -hmm. It's a sweet delight with notes of peach, bear, and honeysuckle. That's that one. Yes. My second one is a 2016 Tremonet. It's sweet, it's fruity, with a, it's a simple drink, and it's excellent sangria. Mm -hmm. My third one is a 2020 That's a rosé. Yes, a pink rosé called the Pink Flamingo. It's a light carol color got. with notes of melon, orange, and strawberry. And what's your last? And one? my last one is a 2016 Hilltopper Red Sweet Red Wine. Oh, the sweet one. Nice. <laughs> Enjoy, lady. So the Derby White was very sweet. So it kind of reminded me of, like Moscato. So I liked it. I liked it. That's something that I would drink on a regular. So how did you feel about the Derby White? So I, really, the people. I like the Derby White, even though I don't really like sweet wines like that, I agree. I think it definitely tastes like Moscato, but you can definitely like taste the peach and the pear. Like, mm -hmm. it's, really, like, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely that fruity drink. <laughs> so Christy's really raving about this wine. What is it? This is the 2016 Petit Verdot. It's medium body red with black raspberry, molasses, oak, and plum. And I'm about to buy a bottle of it. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> so what's like taste like? I just feel like the fr like it's fragrant or something? It's like a, a shock, like an explosive like taste of like the molasses and the oak. Oh nice. And it's very dry. You but like so No, but this is this is it's, it's bomb. <laughs> It's dry though, so if you don't like dry wine, you're not gonna like it. Okay. But, like you can taste the flavor. Okay. Like, you, it's not like a, it's not like barefoot. <laughs> so our least favorite <laughs> that we tried is the the 2019 Cabernet Franc. I don't know how to explain the taste, to be honest with you. I think it tastes like cleaning supplies. <laughs> well, you yeah. hear, you heard it, it here, people. Like, it tastes like Clorox. <laughs> oh God. She's trying the least favorite at the table. <laughs> it's like like sharpie like expired sharpie if I oh sense. my god let me try something like <laughs> it's bad Chris, Chrissy said it's bad I don't know it's it's just so wrong but um <laughs> Chrissy said it tastes like an expired sharpie I'm not sure sharpies <laughs> expire but okay so she's waiting for her wine because she wants to get a bottle It. It's the dry wine that we actually liked. So it's only good. $24. Nice. Oh, that's good. <laughs> oh, Mojana. So now we're trying to get some food. Right, ladies? We are hungry. I'm so hungry. Mm -hmm. So we're getting some food. <laughs> we're already lit, but um, we need to do something about that. We're chilling by the fire now because it is really, really cold. Like my fingers are literally thawing right now. So on the menu they have like panini, sandwiches, pizza, and crackers. 
and cheese. This is the, the mushroom oh, truffle. The mushroom truffle, guys. Okay, okay, I'll put and then what else? What we got? And then we have those napkins. That's a good question. No plates. And then here is that fire is toasted. Yeah. That's our pepperoni pizza. And then we have cheese and crackers. So the pizza was delicious, right, girls? Yeah, I actually don't really like mushrooms, but it was lit, right? Yeah, like the truffle. And I actually didn't try the mushrooms, to be honest. I did the pepperoni. It was really good. So Becky Hyphen. So what would you say, how do you say your experience was today? i say if it wasn't so cold, I would give it a 10 out of 10. But because it was cold, I would say like... But the fire did forgive us. Yeah, the fire, no. <laughs> Honestly, um, I met new friends, so 10 yeah, out of 10. Yeah, we made friends. And we, we made the friends, yeah. yeah. Um, so it was I a vibe. I would my experience a 9 out of 10. And the only reason why it's not a 10 is because of the yeah, I agree. I think I think like I agree. the wine tasting yeah. was good, even though I didn't like my one like uh, selection. Like you have to choose stuff that you like that you don't like, so you learn. Like mm -hmm. you know, and I'm leaving here with two bottles. So. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm definitely coming back, <laughs> and I don't. Ha I could skip the wine tasting part because I think I know what I want yeah. next time. Yeah. All right, yeah. ladies. Thank you for watching the breathing space. Say bye to Becky and Christine. Bye. Thank you for watching the breathing space. Please like and subscribe.